Liquefied petroleum gas, LPG for short, is now widely used on building sites up and down the country. It comes in two forms, proper gas propane and bottle gas butane. These portable and versatile fuels are now in common use as sources of power, heat and light. Proper gas propane is stored in the cylinder as a liquid under pressure. In this special demonstration container, we can see the liquid as it would be in a cylinder. When the valve is opened, gas is released to the burner and the liquid boils to provide further supplies of gas. Bottle gas butane is stored in an identical way but at lower pressure. In common with all fuels, thought and care must be exercised so that they may be used safely. By treating both the gas and the cylinder with a little care and respect, we avoid scenes like this. And this. And this. Although in this case, a cylinder is being deliberately blown up under controlled conditions. The same thing could happen on site if basic safety instructions are ignored. LPG is delivered in a cylinder which has already been tested for leaks and has a guard ring or removable screwed cap to protect the valve assembly. A plastic plug is screwed into the outlet connection to prevent accidental leakage during transit. When not in use, cylinders should be kept in a secure compound remote from sources of ignition. The compound must be kept clear of rubbish and other inflammable material. The cylinders must be stored upright and it is preferable to keep empty and full cylinders segregated. Don't leave empty cylinders lying about. They can be just as dangerous as full ones. Send them back to the dealer to be filled. When moving a cylinder, use the carrying ring provided, or a trolley, or roll upright on the base ring. Never carry a cylinder by its outlet valve. LPG cylinders are designed in accordance with Home Office recommendations. The half cylinder shows the thickness of the walls, which are not made to withstand constant treatment like this, or this. If a cylinder does get damaged, take it out of service immediately and return it to the dealer. Stand the cylinder upright on a firm foundation. Never use or store a cylinder on its side. As the Perspex container shows, it is possible in this position to draw off liquid instead of gas. A liquid leak is 250 times worse than a gas one, and any appliance which is designed to operate on gas will be quite incapable of coping with liquid, and a flare-up will result. Before removing the plastic plug, make sure that the valve on the cylinder is closed. It may have shaken loose or been accidentally turned on during transit. When connecting up the pressure regulator and pipework from the appliance, always have the appropriate spanner ready. Having screwed up the nut by hand, tighten all connections with the spanner. Remember, it is a left-hand thread. Never check for leaks with a naked flame. Identify the general area of the leak by smell and its precise location with a soapy water solution. See that the cylinder is not placed immediately beside the appliance and that there are no other cylinders in the vicinity. In general, there should be about 10 feet between cylinder and appliance. Also, make sure that the hose is adequately protected from damage by other workmen or equipment or, where practical, use armoured hose. Never use a cylinder without a pressure regulator or tamper with a regulator that has already been set. This will result in poor performance of the appliance and possibly in an explosion or a major flare-up. Connection from the pressure regulator to the appliance is usually by flexible hose. LPG is an excellent solvent and will soften and break down rubber and most plastics. 
only special British standard LPG hoses should be used and they should be checked regularly for damage and for deterioration. This is a very simple precaution, but very frequently ignored. Nearly 15% of accidents involving LPG are caused by leakage from damaged or unsuitable hoses. This man hasn't checked his hose. There's a tear in it, and unknown to him, gas is leaking out. LPG is heavier than air, therefore any gas from a leak will collect at a low level, maybe at a point quite distant from the original leak. Like this trench. A carelessly thrown away cigarette end and... Well, at least no one was hurt this time. When connecting up hoses to the regulator and the appliance, do not rely on a push-on fit. Or a Heath Robinson effort. These can all too easily come adrift. Always use some form of hose clip. Before turning the gas valve on, have a means of ignition ready and waiting, unlike this fellow. In the time it takes him to search through three or four pockets for a box of matches, quite enough gas can escape to cause... Oh well, we did warn him. Now let's look at the main points again. One, treat the cylinder with respect. Two, never store or use the cylinder on its side. Always stand it upright. Three, make sure the gas valve is shut before removing the plastic plug. Four, use the appropriate spanner to tighten up connections. Never rely on finger tight joints. Five, never check leaks with a naked flame. Use a combination of sense of smell and soapy water solution. Six, always use the correct pressure regulator with the cylinder. Seven, use the correct hose for service with LPG and check for wear and tear before connecting up. Eight, always use a hose clip for securing hoses to regulators and appliances. Nine, protect the hose and position the cylinder away from the appliance. 10. Always have a means of ignition ready before turning on the gas valve. You have your system ready for use. Now let's see how to use it safely. An all too frequent sight is a cylinder in use half covered in frost. Gas is being drawn off at too great a rate. The cure is simple. Where possible use a bigger cylinder or, as in this case, manifold two cylinders together. An automatic changeover device will also solve a frosting problem and can help where a continuous offtake is required without interruption over a long period of time. When a cylinder shows signs of frosting, never apply external heat by blowtorch, hot water, or by any other method. This is downright dangerous. The heat will cause vast increases in cylinder pressure, which could well result in... The heating of site huts, especially during winter, is important on any building site. Radiant heaters, and also small boiling rings, are commonly fired on proper gas propane. However, it is essential that the cylinders are kept outside the hut. If you do have a leak at the connection to the cylinder, it's far better outside and away from any naked lights. By having the cylinders outside, it is obviously necessary to have a further gas tap inside next to the appliance. Or is it? This bloke doesn't think so. While he's rushing around from turning on the cylinder valve, gas is pouring out into the hut. Well, he learnt the hard way. All gas-fired heaters and boiling rings need air to work correctly, and so adequate ventilation is always required. Never close all the windows, and never block up any ventilators. Without fresh air, the appliance will start to produce carbon monoxide. This gas is extremely poisonous in very small quantities, and will swiftly cause death. You may get away with it some of the time, but even when you have left the site hut, the danger is not over. This appliance has been left on in a hut without adequate ventilation. It will start to produce carbon monoxide once air is in short supply. 
as the supply of air further decreases, the flames will eventually go out. However, the gas will not be turned off automatically and will soon fill the room. So next time you went to your site hut, you would be faced with a hut full of highly flammable gas. Always leave windows and ventilators open and unblocked. Bitumen boilers need constant attention. If attention wanders, bitumen could spill and catch light surrounding the LPG cylinder. And we've already seen the tragic result of heating cylinders. After work, make sure that first all cylinder valves and then equipment gas taps are turned off and that valve covers are replaced where practical. All cylinders should, where possible, be put back in a locked storage compound. This is to guard against pilferage and also against more dangerous damage caused by vandals. To summarize, one, never heat a cylinder under any circumstances. Two, always keep propane cylinders outside the site hut, but ensure that there is a gas tap inside the hut. Three, Never close all the windows or block off any ventilators. Four, never leave a heating appliance unattended or unwatched. Five, at the end of the day, replace cylinders in a safe storage area. Don't let this happen to you or your workmates. It can be very easily prevented with a little thought and care.